Hi everybody, uh, my name is Betty Lou Susai Palai and I'm going to talk about some great tips um, to boost your metabolism. And I did this a little bit earlier and I didn't know how to work the Periscope thing very well. Obviously I don't know how to do it now, but all you were seeing before was my front porch instead of my face. So. I want to first talk about one of the best things you can do to boost your metabolism is to stand up. We all have sedentary lives and sitting constantly slows your metabolism and it increases your chance of weight gain. So if every 45 minutes you can get up and do some stretching or a little yoga, it would really help boost your metabolism. I um, started doing a little standing desk with my computer. I put it on my kitchen counter on some boxes so that the screen is sort of level with my eyes and that's helped with boosting my metabolism. The next thing you can do is walk more. Instead of parking right next to a store or a building, park what I call an outer slobobia at the very far end of a parking lot and then that way you get a little walk in. I wear a watch, let me grab my watch to show you. It's one of those watches that has like everything on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it will scroll to, yeah, oh, it's backwards. Well, anyway, um, it shows me my steps and calories that I burn. It's based on my height and weight. There's all kinds of things like that that you can get, but basically if you walk more, it will speed up your metabolism. Then a very important thing, um, is to sleep properly. If you get enough sleep, it will boost your metabolism. So if um, you have issues with sleeping or you think sleeping is not important, that is one of the best things for boosting metabolism and weight loss. Um, most of my clients, when they changed from getting to like five and six hours of sleep to getting seven or eight hours, they started losing the weight. So don't minimize your sleep thinking it's not important. It's really crucial. And then another important thing to do to boost your metabolism is to make sure that you're getting enough water. I tell my clients to drink you know, eight to 10, eight ounces glasses of water a day. Um, water is just so vital. Even mild dehydration can cause your metabolism to slow down because your body thinks that you're starving. Um, another important thing about drinking water is to remember if it's hotter out, like, you know, in Georgia, it's, you know, we've been having like 90, 100 degree weather. If you're getting that really hot weather, make sure that you're drinking more water. And if you're doing a lot of activities like um, and sweating a lot, of course, you're going to need more water. So base your water on how how much you need it, not just on that eight, eight ounce glasses. But that's a good place to start. Um, there's some weird ways to boost your metabolism, and one is through cold exposure. And you're like, well, it's you know, 90, 100 degrees in Georgia here, so you're not gonna be exposed to much cold. But one of the ways you can do this is to have like a hot, cold shower. So you start off with your hot shower, and then you turn on the cold water and blast yourself with cold. So it's like three minutes of hot, and then 30 seconds of cold, and three minutes of hot, and 30 seconds of cold, and that, will increase your metabolism. Um, one of the things that they found out is there's this um, substance called brown fat in your body. It's up in near your um, collarbones and on the back between your shoulder blades. And this brown fat actually helps you metabolize and burn that white icky fat that's around your belly. So if when you're doing that cold part of the shower, you can kind of get up in here and on your back, that would really help. Um, although it feels brutal. And always end with the cold part of the shower. Um, another study, they found out that if they gave uh, participants cold, ice cold water, that also s would speed up their metabolism. So even though cold water isn't as good for your digestion and it could sometimes cause stomach upsets, um, it's really great for speeding up your metabolism. So drink a couple glasses of ice water if you want to speed up your metabolism. 
Now, one of the most classic things to increase your metabolism is strength training. Everybody pretty much knows now that if you have um, more muscle, it will speed up your metabolism. And the best way to create more muscle is strength training. And one of the good things to do is to do compound strength training where you're using more than one muscle. So those little machines where you're just doing some bicep curls, yeah, that helps. But the better things are doing, you know, squats with shoulder presses or doing lunges with your weights or um, doing a combination of moves. And, and that would really help. But also, too, just any strength training is good for increasing your metabolism. And then one of the most popular things right now is high-intensity interval training, HIIT training. And what that is is that you go really, really hard, speeding up, and then you have a, a moment of rest. And you could also introduce those intervals into your regular training. So if you're on the elliptical trainer, you can go your normal pace, and then you can go really, really fast for 30 seconds, and then go back and forth. So that is very helpful for increasing your metabolism is to introduce some high intensity intervals into your regular training, like do some sprints in the middle of your run. Another phenomenon that happens and why exercise is so good for increasing your metabolism is that there's this thing called post-oxygen consumption, uh, post-exercise oxygen consumption, EPOC. Anyway, what happens is even when you're done exercising, your body doesn't go back to its resting metabolism. It will actually stay revved up for a while. So that's another good reason to incorporate exercise into your life. So another weird thing to help you speed up your meta metabolism are spicy foods, especially things like hot peppers, cayenne pepper, um, things like ginger, spicy, spicy foods. Now, you have to be a little bit careful with the spicy foods because if you get too much going in the mouth, the spicy comes out the other end, which could be painful. So you want to kind of balance that out. But I have some friends that they'll, you know, shake some cayenne pepper into their tea, into their water, on their salads, and they get little bits here and there throughout the day. Speed up your metabolism through cayenne pepper. And then some foods... Um, also can increase your metabolism. Arginine, it's a substance that's in things like beans, and that will increase your metabolism. Um, studies have also shown that foods high in fiber will also increase your metabolism. Uh, coffee and tea are really great for um, increasing and boosting your metabolism. But make sure you don't drink coffee and tea too much later in the day because the caffeine will really get you, even though it increases your uh, metabolism, you want to think about sleep also, and if it affects your sleep, then that will slow your metabolism. So you want to try and keep your caffeine intake to before like two in the afternoon on a regular day. Um, also, too, there's a substance in green tea called catechin, and that has been shown in studies to increase your metabolic rate. Um, and then one more thing I wanted to talk about is that they found that indirectly organic food helps increase your metabolism. Basically, all that food with all the toxins and chemicals and pesticides, that affects your thyroid, and your thyroid controls your metabolism. So if you affect your thyroid and slow it down, it's going to decrease your metabolism. Also, um, the toxins and the pesticides in non-organic food get stored in your fat, and as you're losing weight, it releases that, and then it causes your body to slow your metabolism to deal with the stress of the toxins. So it's important as much as possible to eat clean food and organic food. So those are my tips on how to boost your metabolism, and I, I hope this has been really helpful. Have a great day. Bye.